Do you ever wish you had more confidence? Like you actually do know what's going on and you have good intuition and you, you really are guided, but you just don't have the confidence to follow through. Well, this is the number one complaint that I hear from my students and clients all over the world. My name is Sonia Choquette. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about confidence how to overcome a lack of it, and how to understand why you're so insecure so you won't ever be again. If you're new to my channel, I'm so happy you're here and I hope you enjoy it. So lack of confidence, what is that all about? Well, the truth is, the reason people lack confidence is because they're coming at life from the point of view of their ego. And you know what? Your ego will always be insecure. It will never ever, ever be confident because by its nature, it is a temporary part of you. It is a part of you that with your body will eventually transpire, it'll tr eventually end. So it knows this and it's very aware and feels very threatened all the time. Your ego sees the entire world as a situation that it has to control and has to protect itself from. Like me against you and you guys scare me so I'm not gonna let you in and goodness sakes, don't let me ever make a mistake or be vulnerable or take a risk or do anything that might invite a bad result. So that's the root of no confidence. You need to understand that to be confident, you have to get in touch with your spirit. The part of you that transcends this temporary state of being, the part of you that is divine, that is your, your divine genius, your soul, your spirit, your eternal self that is connected to the universe, to the, to the, to the nature spirits and to the light beings and to, has a higher self and, and has angels and guides and support and nothing is a danger or a threat or a risk. It's all about just being here and learning to be creative, to learn to be the master of your own expression. So if you have a confidence problem, the first thing to do is change the channel of who you are and begin to recognize, I'm not my ego. Like Einstein said, the human spirit is our sacred gift and the rational mind, its faithful servant. But sadly, We've thrown away the gift and we have become enslaved to the servant. And we're enslaved to our ego. We will never be confident. Even people who have a false swagger and a lot of bravado underneath are very scared, which is why they become so impatient and bullying and, and, and competitive. That's not confidence. That's just well-disguised, well-packaged fear. Real confidence comes from being your authentic self. You know, I always say your intuition doesn't help you find your keys. It helps you find yourself. And that self is what is naturally confident because it doesn't need approval from anybody. It is inherently connected to self-love and to, to spirit and knows that you're supported and you're here to create and you have infinite guides and helpers and life is a game to, to master and enjoy. And it's not a, a, a threat where you can lose value if someone doesn't approve of you. So but the first thing to do to gain your confidence is to recognize your most important spirit guide is your own spirit. And you can start by taking a breath right now, put your hand on your heart, exhale, ah, and just feel how good it feels to just inhale. Ah, that's your spirit. And when that leaves, then this party's over. But until the spirit leaves, that's who you really are. So next thing to do is to actually name your spirit. Give it a name to recognize. That is the, the beautiful, infinite, divine part of you. Like for example, my spirit's name is Bright Light because it sheds a bright light on my path. It takes away the darkness and the confusion and gets me out of my ego and helps me really see my way forward. And so I connect to and identify that that's who I really am this beautiful bright light and I have this ego that's trying to help me like Einstein said, my faithful servant, but it's not the boss. Now, once you tune into your spirit, 
then it makes sense that you have spirit guides because they're on the same channel. So you tune into your spirit and you begin to recognize there's nature spirits and there's joy guides and there's runners and life beings and angels and helpers and teachers and mother, father, God, and that the universe is this very populated and very benevolent arena where lots and lots and lots and lots of support is available to you. And it's simply a matter of recognizing it and asking from your spirit to the spirits in the universe to help you, to direct you, help you, and lead you in the direction of your highest good. So you can ask healers to help you with your body. You can ask teachers to help you learn what you need to learn on a project or for spiritual growth. You can ask your helpers to help you with mundane things you need to fix and, and figure out. You can ask your joy guides for help with laughter and connection and relationships. Or you can ask your angels to do it all. But you don't really need to know who to ask. Just ask. The universe will start out and send you the best help and help you and help your spirit feel even more supported, more assured, and more confident. You don't have to believe me. Just name your spirit, get in touch, feel that transcendent part of you, and ask that from that part of you, ask the universe to help you on one thing today. And within 72 hours, you will be helped. And that will reassure you and give you confidence. You yeah, ask from your ego, I call your ego your barking dog. It is the faithful servant, but it's also in the very animalistic, territorial, insecure, competitive part of you that's going to just make a lot of noise. So you can't ever find and reassure that part of you because it'll never be reassured enough. So what you do instead with your barking dog ego is you train it to behave. You don't shoot the dog, you train it by teaching it to meditate or Take your dog for a run, go outside, go for a walk, exercise, move that adrenaline, that anxiety, but don't ask that part of you to be in charge because that's too scary. It's too insecure and it won't do the best job. So just burn that energy off, walk, move, breathe, let that anxiety settle down. And then ask your higher self, move me in the direction of my highest good and all my angels and guides, I'm open to all the help I can get on this project and give me signs, help me out, and I thank you in advance. That's how you start to develop real confidence. And you know, it's lasting confidence because you're connected to the real, genuine, lasting part of you that does know. Now let me tell you about your higher self and your intuition. Intuition is the voice of your higher self, the voice of your spirit, and here's how it works. It just knows the answer. It is not going to explain. It's just going to give you the answer. It's going to give you the solution. It's going to direct you to the path, the, the, the obvious way forward, and it's not going to give you an explanation. That comes from your barking dog. So what you say to your barking dog is, I don't know why, but I'm going with it anyway. That part of you knows. It's sort of like if your higher self is a satellite overlooking and your barking dog is a little bicycle on the road, it can only see right in front of you where the satellite sees the whole terrain. So it's gonna beam down to you. Okay, we're gonna be turning around a bend just up here, be ready, being the barking dog's ego is going, where, where, where? Well, you don't wanna explain, just, just follow me. Just do what I say because I see and know. If you stop fighting your higher self and just accept it's the part of you that knows will give you the right answer and it won't explain and you can just go along with that and know that all your angels and guides are going to help you make those choices and decisions with ease and grace, I can assure you in a very short period of time, being fearful, insecure, second guessing and having no confidence will very soon be a thing of the past. Your ego will never be confident. That's just the bottom line change the channel connect with your spirit ask your higher self which you name start having conversations and say you're the one that knows so you make the decisions you move me in the direction of my highest good you move me toward the best solutions you move me away from trouble you take over and let my angels guides and all my divine helpers get on board and make this life flow smoothly within 72 hours, everything will change. 
And if you stay out of the way and don't let your barking dog insecure, never confident ego drive the bus of your life, and you soar with the wings of your spirit, you will always be confident. It'll be like a massive healing because it is. Healing meaning being whole again. So please don't struggle with insecurity anymore and let your ego ever try to posture that it is secure. It's a waste of time. It's the wrong channel. Whenever your ego says, I'm not good enough, you need to agree. You're not. Thank God you're not the real me. You're the helper, so you just be quiet. You meditate, you go for a walk, you give it something to do like the laundry and get it out of the way so that your higher self can take over and make your life peaceful. You will never, ever even think I'm not good enough once you tune into the channel of your spirit. It doesn't make sense. You're divine. It's way beyond not good enough. You're fabulous. And it'll never happen again that you question that. So change the channel. Name your spirit. Call in your spirit guides. They will help you. If you want to read more about this, you can read my book, Ask Your Guides, or take my online course. But this is enough information for now. Just change the channel. You'll never be insecure again. Okay, thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoyed it, stick around, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. All my love.